What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights. Getting off to a pretty decent start now in this season. We started off a little rough, but we started to creep back up there. And uh, locker room chemistry 63%. Hopefully that is trending upwards because it's not that great right now. But um, yeah. Uh, basically, I think we're just going to keep simming here. I was thinking about, was I thinking about line change at all? Yeah, well, yeah, I was thinking about calling up, um, someone down here to bring up and try him out. Turkov's growing a lot. This guy, not so much, but I'll keep Turkov here since he's grown here. And he's a two-way forward and this guy's a sniper. I kind of want to play him with a guy who can score. Um, sure, Shovel Dave could probably score a bit, but, uh, yeah, anyway. So... If I did make a change, though, I could move Turkov up to the second line. And I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about just maybe just calling up Godin out of nowhere. Like, I know he still has a minor scorer, but... Or Bitten. Bitten can come up at the deadline. We could send Godin back down maybe at that point and just to see if Bitten grows more. And then, I don't know. There, it's always an option. So, that's, I'm thinking of doing that right now. And, uh, I'm not too sure. Because uh, Spezza isn't amazing. No, like he's not he's not great for the fourth line. He's he's got some assists, but he's a minus seven. You know, he's he's not a fourth line type of guy. He's not defensive, so it'd be better just to have him sit. Or what I could do is send him down and help out the AHL team. But the thing about that is the reason I wanted to call one of these guys up is because I got a prospect here. Another top another uh uh top nine guy. Now I still have Ronenberg. Now he's twenty two at sixty seven, and I kinda stopped prioritizing him same with Burkfist because they weren't really this guy's not really a role player you know he's a sniper sure he's he's grown pretty well but I had to start prioritizing guys and elites obviously got the priority here now this guy's 62 19 years old you know as a grinder that might work out pretty well you know so I'm thinking he could step in if we made some kind of a move here I wanted to keep the grinders going he would step in if we made some kind of a move so that's kind of what I'm considering right now. Is who will jump up. I'm also thinking maybe Jacobson got... Maybe some of these guys will actually like jump up throughout the year. Like Jacobson might be ready for death time at some point. I don't know. We'll have to see how growth goes and stuff like that. But uh, for right now, I mean... Bitten... I mean, the, the guy, Godden makes more sense to call up just because his defense is better. I know he's not listed as that, but... How much more is he going to get at age 24 in the AHL? Um, I think, I'm, I'm just going to try it. I think he's slightly better than Spezza. I'm just going to try it. It frees up space on our AHL. If he doesn't pan out, he doesn't pan out. That's not, it's not the biggest of deals. A guy like that is kind of a, uh, almost dime a dozen. It was Godin, right? Yeah, it was Godin. Uh, Godin is kind of like a dime a dozen in free agency. Like, well, a fully grown Godin, like a depth guy, like in the fourth line, you could pretty much get those guys at any point in time. So with pretty good defensive stats as well. All right. So first things first, we got to fix this. Now I could pull up the sniper onto this line or I could keep him where he is and bring up Turakov. But I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go with the sniper and then Turakov up because he's a two way forward. And this guy's a sniper. He's got... Technically, this guy's slightly better offensively, so I'll put him up here. Keep keep uh, Neil, uh, Neil Akinen where he was. All right, and now I'll shove in that grinder. Or I could just put him on the second line. No, he's listed as other forward. I might want to just play him down here. So substitute him in there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have to fix a couple other lines. How long would this take? Hopefully not too long. Bitten can maybe come up. Or I could put that... Or, you know what? I know. I have a better idea. Keep Jacobson over here. Move Chistov up. And then stick in one of those weird guys. Like Turkov and Nilekina. Maybe Turkov since he's doing so well. Although that puts Nilekina... Yeah, I'll put Nilekina on this one-time side. Let's st stick him in there. Try to get that guy to grow a bit more. And then four-man. Same kind of deal here. In this case, they'll move him up and down. And put Chistov in. All right. Usually I'll edit this out, but I don't think it'll take too long. And that's really this is really all I have to do here is a couple of these things. And Jacobson shovel Dave. We don't have cheese stuff in here, so I'll just throw them in. Here we are. Three on three. And we'll move him up and put cheese stuff in here or something like that. And for the shootout, don't think it'll matter too much, but I'll just throw a cheese stuff. 
<laughs> see how good he is. All right, so we'll take care of that real quick. Just some minor stuff. And then for here, we'll scratch Spezza. He's already got some games played. He shouldn't be all pissy. And we'll throw in a uh, God in. Yeah, we'll throw him in there, and then he's just he'll just play fourth line. He doesn't have any special teams time, nothing like that. He'll just play a bit of fourth line. He's got decent defensive stats. That's why I'm throwing him in there. We'll see how he does here on the fourth line. I'm not too sure. Maybe it was better with Spezza. And uh, we'll just have to switch that back. But we're going to try that out. See how this works for our sim. Uh, he's just slightly better defensively. That's why I'm bringing him in here. So I don't think it'll have too much of an impact. So we'll see. All right, now we're going to continue simming here. I am still considering making some trades. Uh, especially with some of our guys who aren't playing in the uh, AHL or uh, Godla and uh, some of the prospects and stuff like that. Um, but for right now, I want to see what else I may need uh, before I make a trade because I don't think we're trading for many picks anymore. I think we're kind of we're gonna be start looking for roster players now at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already traded my RFA. All right, loss right there. <laughs> loss right there. Come on. Oh my goodness, three losses in a row. That's not what we wanted to see. Not what we wanted to see after making a change like that. Alright, come on now. Win some games. Pacific Division. Need to win this game. Oh goodness. Loss in the shootout. Loss again. Five losses in a row. Come on, Vegas. Oh my goodness. Six losses in a row. Seven, oh my god, we're about to fall back to 500. Will that change really affect us that much? Are you serious right now? I highly doubt it. I fucking highly doubt it. But we just lost, oh my, no, stop. Stop, holy fuck. No, no, just might as well just finish off the fucking month at this point. There's only four games left. What a horrible, we just dropped every single fucking game right there. Every single fucking game we just dropped right there. Holy crap. Come on, man. Should not happen that way. At all. At all. Come on, man. We just went from a fucking playoff team to a tank team in one month. What the hell? Come on. There's no way Spezza was having that much of a freaking impact on this team. We just dropped the six in the division from second. Holy shit. I'm sorry, that's, and to me that's bullshit, there's no way we drop, like, why, why, why the hell do we drop like that, that didn't make any sense to me, why am I, I, I need to check, freaking, wow, Padawan needs more, Man, everyone drop. look at that, Manth, Kane, everyone fucking dropped down, yeah, so I know someone was saying to maybe go after one of those sniper prospects, and uh, as much as I don't want to do that, I just really, I feel like it's kind of cheesy, fucking Henrik needs to get the fuck out of here, Henrik, I need to get rid of Henrik somehow. He's just shit. He's just bringing the team down. He just keeps losing morale, man. Keeps losing morale. I need to get that guy the hell out of there if I can. Ugh, what the hell kind of month was that? Literally almost lost every single fucking game. We only got two wins in that stretch. Ridiculous. Oh, so we started allowing a shit ton of goals and we stopped scoring. That's part of it. Power play slipped. Penalty kill slipped. Oh my god, 2-6 and 2 in the last 10. Wow, just... Where did that come from? We were doing so good. Such a goddamn streaky team this year. Streaky as hell, man. We can't... I don't want to miss the fucking playoffs. We shouldn't miss the playoffs. But we're, we're boys to. Like, if you look at our team, man, there's no reason... We, what the hell? And Tuck starts... Oh my god, Tuck starts falling off now. Good. Good. Yeah, Tuck starts losing morale. Fucking hell. I'm about ready to trade this guy, dude. I'm straight up about ready to trade Tuck. He's fucking been shit in the bed. Like, for years now. This is like the multiple years in a row he's just been shit in the bed. How's Shippashoff gonna have that many goddamn points you guys can't score for shit around him? Like, Zadina ain't the problem, man. Zadina's definitely not the problem. Tuck is becoming the problem. 25, just, I think I just gotta get him out of here. First line struggling. Everyone's struggling. God damn, Henrik's got, I don't know, I, we gotta, we gotta shake things up here, we gotta clean house, we gotta get rid of freaking, I gotta get rid of Henrik, I just gotta get some kind of, so, I, I gotta get something for him, I gotta get something back for him, I don't think that Godin move was great, I mean a couple points, he's less of a minus, but less time, oh my god, this fourth line, Jesus Christ, 
What the hell? What? Quite frankly, what the hell? Like, where did that come from? Like, what? How are we just going to lose all those fucking games right there? Like, Jesus Christ. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking to trade because <laughs> that is bullshit. That's some bullshit. I don't want to slip any farther, man. That is some bull crap right there. Even Tuck losing morale again. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, really? Really? That's silly to me. Tuck is, I think he's got to go, man. I don't know. He's not, he's not, if we look at his performance recently, like, he just keeps falling off. He's having a shitty year on a great line, really. 13 points in 39 games in the top six. Unacceptable. Like, he's had good seasons, but, like, ugh. Last season was actually decent for him. He, like, came alive, but I don't know. He's just having a horrible season. He's, he's losing morale, too. So, let's see here. Where's what's-his-name? Get fuck. I need to get Henrique the hell out of here. Who will take this guy on? Who would ever take this guy on? A lot of people say they want him, but they don't want his contract here. Most likely. That's what they're going to say to me, most likely. I have to take back a roster player, but I just, I just want to get this guy the fuck out of here at this point. I don't even, I don't care what I get back. I just want this guy out of here. Uh, some red tops. I can pick this guy up for the hell of it. I got to pick someone who's signed. Yeah, let's pick the, let's just get some kind of, this is, he's terrible. Not really. I don't really want that guy, but they don't want to give him roster players, which makes sense. Can I get a roster player from anyone here? Maybe these guys. No, they, they don't want to give roster players either. What the hell's going on? No one does. Okay, well, Tom Wilson, how you doing? Pretty decent. Could work. Could throw him in there. Hmm. Maybe. I'm kind of trying to avoid the trade to my conference, but I mean, I might maybe just have to do it anyway. <laughs> Uh, Emerton, a prospect, 72 at 20, no. This guy, no, AHL. Yeah, I don't want to give up any roster players. Makes a bit of sense, though. All right, you know what? Let me see. Let me go back to Toronto. Maybe I'll just take that random freaking red prospect, take a chance. I'm just trying to get this guy the hell out of here, to be honest. Like, I don't really care what I get back. Damn it, they'd be over the meat. Shit, they'd be over the salary cap. Yeah, this is a... Pretty rough contract. Why the hell are these guys? What do they want to give up? Any roster players? Why don't they want to give up roster players? That's weird to me. Maybe we can get another red elite. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, I just want to get something back for this guy. Because holy crap. Just even a fourth liner at this point. Like Pavs. I'll take Pavs. Screw it. I'll take Pavs off you. I don't have to pay a bit of money for him, but he's listed as third line. He's still got great defensive stats. Decent enough offensively. Yeah. <laughs> I might. Let me see. Let me get Pavs off you guys. Screw it. Get Henrique out of here. I won't have to hold on to him for long. He's going to probably drop more of us, sure, but he's at least pretty fucking good defensively. So that's all I'm looking for right here. What else? They're going to have some decent picks by the looks of it. Gotta get a probably have to. I probably can't get a second. I probably have to get a third or maybe two thirds. Let me try that third first. See what that. Ah, eh, that might be all I can get. But let's throw in something that's on the block here. Maybe, maybe I can get a bit more. Not really. No. Okay. Uh, get, just remove the fourth. Try to get that third. No. Yeah, it isn't dire enough to take on that contract. Well, please take that contract on. I'll take less and less. I just want this guy the fuck out of here at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to absorb the contract. I don't want to retain with two years left. I, I really can't afford to. I mean, I technically could, but let's see. Just straight up. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I mean, I technically could afford the con like to, to hold on to that contract because we have a guy like Spezza signed for like 10 mil. I can, I can afford to retain most likely. That's that's what I'm saying. I can probably I can easily afford to retain. So I'm going to do it. It sucks to do that, but, and I, they might still be like, no, we don't want to hold on. We don't want to take on the contract, but I'm still going to try. It's a little, it sucks to do, but whatever. It's this guy. I feel like this guy is really bringing down the team like as a whole. 
So I'm going to try it. I don't care. Get a third back. I don't care. There we go. I really, I just want that guy the fuck out of here. He's, he's, he's done, man. He's just net. He's been nothing. It was a failed, it was a failed experiment was, was what he is. Failed experiment. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah. Qu trading away a quality player, my ass. All right. So we're going to put Pavs right here in the center. Cause he could take face offs. So boom, get in there. Just put him in there. I don't, he's going to drop. I don't care. He could play fourth line for all I freaking care. Um, I just wanted that guy out of there. Get, get a bit of something back for him. Yeah, just get him the hell out of there. We have plenty of other value in other places. I just feel like he's bringing that team down. I'm even considering getting talk out of here. Like, just really, it's... We need some kind of a first liner. Okay, power play. I could probably put Pavelski in here too, because he's actually really pretty damn good. Or I could switch up this power play. You know what? No, let's put Pavelski in there. Yeah, because he's actually still decent offense. Eh, he's not that great, actually. Hmm. What else can I do? Not too much. I mean, I could I could break up this this first one. I could break up this line, but I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I kind of don't want to. Just put Pavelski in there. Who the hell cares at this point? Do it. Just put him in there. He's better than Henrique. Get him in there. All right, penalty kill wise, same thing. I'm playing him on the penalty kill. I'm playing him everywhere because he's good enough. He's good enough. Yeah, Henrique needs to get the hell out of here. I'm glad I traded him to a shit team too. I'm, I'm at, that's like that's a spite move right there. Get him the fuck out of here. Trade him to a shit team for like two years left. Sure, we have to retain on him, but I really don't care at this point. <laughs> I just don't care. I just, he's out of here. Like we're we're paying we're paying Spezza a shit ton, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, got in. We could try keeping him here for now, since he's got decent defensive stats. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to keep Glass here as well. Keep everything the same. Tuck. Ugh, I'm thinking about moving him back and moving Zadina over. I don't know. Zadina's doing pretty good so far, and I kind of want to keep him growing. But we're going to... I'm going to try this. See if I can get these guys going. Put them on their, their side-ish. I don't know. Just not been good right now. I'm still considering trading Tuck. Like, that's still a definite possibility. Unless he can get going, he's, he's going to be another just wait. And, yeah. If we can't get going here in this next month, he's gone. And I'm going to look for a probably one of those a big score looking for a big score move Kane back to the second line get a big first line scorer in here because holy crap come on Vegas get on top of it come on we need wins there you go there's one creep back in here beat Pacific Division teams all right big loss right there that sucks beat Vancouver come on there we go beat San Jose come on we just need a win win games fucking hell Oh, where did this come from? We jumped back on top and then all of a sudden we just fell off and it's been terrible. Come on now. Let's get wins. There you go. We just need wins. We're fighting for 500 right now, which we were above 500. I don't know what happened here, but I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it whatsoever. Oh my God. We just can't win. We just can't consistently win games right now. It's crazy. It Out of nowhere. Like, you're really telling me Spezza had that big of an impact? I doubt it. I don't think he did. It's just a, fl a switch got flipped, man. Ah, just every time we win a couple games, we come back with losses. 500 right now. What the hell? 500. What is this? We shouldn't be this bad. We should not be this bad. It's just, it boggles my fucking mind. Our point scoring has fallen off the table completely. Completely. What the hell? Six, like, ugh. What? what? I don't get it. Our point scoring got back up. Our goals, so we're trending in the right direction, but it's still shit. It's still complete shit. Penalty kill keeps falling. Like, look at this, man. Like, 5-4-1, and one, that's better, but we need big months here. Look at the point scoring. It's dropped off entirely. Pavelski doesn't count. Padawan, what the hell? Did he only get, like, four points in that stretch? This is, t no, this is, a look at this. Unacceptable. Fucking unacceptable. Look at that. Look at that point scoring for that first line. Unacceptable. Zadina's tied with Kane, man. Like, really? Really? That's what's going on right now? Did Tuck even get any? I think he got a bit, but it's still not good. Man. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I something big's got to happen. So we need some kind of a big shake up here. The Padawan needs some fucking. I thought Mantha was gonna be enough. Like, look how good Mantha is, but they're just not getting the job done, and it, it's weird. I don't know why they should. They're just not getting the job done here. So, uh, I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna look into it. I, I can't remember what teams those were with those big ass snipers, but it's. I don't. I don't think there's a way we're gonna be able to get. That. I think it was. Ooh, why is this guy unhappy? He's a sniper. He's a right winger though. Hmm. He's unhappy. He's 20 though. That's from a previous year. All right. Where I need to try to find these goddamn teams here. So hold on. All right. So I found the guy I was looking at. This Dubluis guy. Um, what the hell's his contract extended for? <laughs> That's weird. They're paying him a bit. Yeah, uh, to me, man, uh, this trade just doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> the rebuilder, like, oh, uh, I would have to give up so much to even get him in the first place. And they don't want anything that I'd be willing to give up, such as, like, Tuck or anyone else like that. So, I don't know. Like, oh, really? Come on now. Oh, did it work? There we go. No, it's, it's still out of order. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, so obviously I'd give up my first. We have too many skaters. Yeah, I'd have to give someone back. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up a lot if I'm gonna have a prayer getting at this guy. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I don't know. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like. It. I just it, the age and stuff lines up really well, but I don't know. I don't like it, man. I don't know. It's, it seems really cheesy to me, man. It does. It just feels really cheesy. Like, someone like Ehlers is on the block, which is weird. You know, like this guy, a right winger, but a lefty, you know? Playmaker. Maybe pair him with that. I don't know. He's demoralized. He's a first liner. Maybe we trade for him. He gets back up there, but if he does shit, then we're, uh, we're, we're kind of screwed, you know? Like, I don't know. Ehlers, he's at least on the block, though. They're trying to get rid of him. Switch him to a left winger, play him over there. That's what I'm thinking. Like, that makes a bit more sense to me. Well, he's, he's still young enough. And he's like, ooh, that's a big-ass deal he's on. I want to get him out of there, though. Like, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Like, we have all the assets and crap to get, like, a guy like Dublowitz. Like, that's not the issue. I could easily trade for him. It's just... I don't know. It doesn't feel... It kind of feels gamey to me. Like, we, we already got the Padawan franchise player. Plus, we got that Van Rand guy. We made some pretty big-ass trades for those. I don't know. It would help us a lot. Don't get me wrong. It would help us a shit ton. Uh, I'm a, Before I make a big decision like that, I know I know we need to sw switch stuff up, it feels like. But, let's see. Can we turn things around on our own here? We're getting into danger territory, though. Like, we're getting... Like, the deadline's fucking coming up, man. So... Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit at a time here. Can we start winning, or are we just... Or do I really need to just shake things up immediately? Come on, now. We need a big wins here. A lot of wins here. Come on. There we go. We're getting a few. So, we're gaining chemistry back. That's nice. But, again, it, it can fall apart at any time. We all know that. Our team's been back and forth inconsistent this entire year. But we basically need to win freaking every game almost right here. Two losses. See, right there. We kind of fucked ourselves right there. We're right back almost to 500. Come on, win games, man. We should. Be. I, I don't know why we're this bad. It boggles my fucking mind. No, nah, we're done. No, nah, it's done. We're done. We're pretty much not a playoff team. We're 500 this entire fucking time, man. So, I got, I got to pull the trigger on something. I need to do something here. We should not be missing the playoffs right now. And we're gonna. We're at this rate. We're, we're missing the playoffs. Padawan, his line is not doing jack shit. Evander Kane isn't doing jack shit. He'd be great on a second line, I feel like. But he's just... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah, only 15 goals. Like, no, Toxic even falling farther down now. He was back at 81. Now he's back to 80. Jesus Christ. Morale is bitch in this game. It's actually kind of fucked up in this game. So, I don't know. I think he'd be fine for second line. Just first line, he's not good enough. 
Mantha's fine. Like, I don't know why these guys aren't doing better. Like, they should be doing a lot better than they are. I don't know. We just need another big gun next to Padawan, I think. So, just something. I need something, man. So, uh, I got I got to do something, I feel like. And it's, it's got to be now. If we want a chance. If we want a prayer at making the playoffs. I'm going to try to... Eli, it's such a big-ass contract, though. That's what I'm afraid of. This guy doesn't pan out. Like, it's a big contract, man. Three more years on that. Take him up until he's 29. They don't want to give up Kyle Connor, which is the guy I would actually prefer... And this screws us too because we got those one way, those one year deals thinking that here we are, we're going to be a playoff team. They might not want to extend now, which means we're going to have to pay them more money to come back. Wenberg's also on the block. He's even better. I could play him on the wing. He's even better offensively. He's not a goal scorer or anything, but he's got one year left. He's only one year older than Ehler is. He's the same play, basically same type of player. He's got more value on him, but it's one year left. Maybe they can help catapult Manta. Manta. He's, he's, the, the best thing about this guy is he's got one year left. So I need to shake something up. 26, 26 and something. We need a huge... We're, we still probably won't make the freaking playoffs. Like, that's the messed up part. Jesus, why aren't these ever in order? Look, I'm simming, Look, I'm, I'm trying to go by here. They're never in freaking order. All right, whatever. Okay, Um. so... Tuck's gonna be in there. He's just shit. He's been shit for a while. So get him out of here. Get Tuck out of here and let's see, Tuck. I want to hold on the cane still. What would make sense here? Any other players that would make sense? A couple of these guys, yeah. Let's throw in a few of these guys. On this twenty-year-old, I'll throw him in there. Even though he's, you know, you're sure he's top six, but right, he's also twenty. So if we didn't use, if we didn't sign these guys like really quick enough, like I'm not gonna really be able to use them too much. Let's see, let's throw Burkfist in. I'm not using him anymore. Give him a bunch of these. Yeah, Roenberg, not using him anymore. I might want to hold on to him, though, because I can stick him back in, maybe. Yeah, I might be able to stick that guy back in once we make change. But oh, I don't know, 22 at that. Nah. He's cutting it close. Oh, Bitten, 77 is he. He still is his depth. Let's see. Okay, now I'll throw, I'll throw in one of those goalies as well. Yeah, they okay. They want all these goalies, so good on them. Let's give them the twenty-year-old first. It's easy. Yeah. There we go. Now that's close. Tuck, uh, some couple other forward prospects, and this Allen guy for Wenberg, who's got one year left, twenty-seven. He lines them up with Mantha. <laughs> Pull him on the left wing side. Hopefully that first line can get their shit together. But yeah, it's we're still waiting on the defensive core though. That's another issue. But they, in my opinion, they should be doing better as well. They were doing good. I don't know. Um, we're gonna try this out. Let's see. All this stuff for a guy like Venberg. Not quite. Value on the table is too far off, so I'll have to give him more. Okay, that's fair. It's fair enough. That's a good player. And I have all this extra stuff. You know, I could maybe chuck in. Let's chuck in Godla because he's not really doing much. Yeah, he's not doing shit. So, let's chuck him in there. Oh, too many goals. Yeah, he's actually signed, so I can't do that. Let's throw in one of those backups then. Let's see if that'll push it across. Probably not. That's not enough value still. Value on the table too far off. Okay, I'll have to throw in a pick here, which I don't mind doing. Well, <laughs> it's a risk here, of course, throwing a pick, but they might... Oh, Jesus Christ. Why... Why can't I just have them <laughs> sorted by, like, uh, in, in, in the right way? All right, let's throw in Buffalo second here. I'll go with a second, yeah. So, Tuck, this couple other forward prospects, this uh, goalie prospect plus a second to try to get Venberg here. I say that's a pretty fair deal. And they well, he's on the block anyway. They're another struggling team. They want to shake things up as well. So, <sighs> come on now. There we go. All right, so we got Venberg. Roster moves. Why do we have to do roster moves? Turning away a quality player in my ass. That guy was trash for us recently. I, just, I had to do something here. And he was the guy to go. Just demoralized as hell. I got to get rid of the guys who bring guys down like that. So that's what we're doing. I know it kind of sucks to give away a young guy like that. But you got to get give something up to get something. And you know what? I'm going to put Spezza back in here. Just because he just, it just we seem to play better. We just seem to play better with Spezza. So I'm putting him back in there. 
I don't know why, but we just seem to play better. So, trying to do everything. Now look at our first line. If this first line can't be good, what the hell? If this line can't get scoring now, what the hell? And this line too. This line is better now too. Everyone's in the correct position, blah, 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 blah. Let's fix these lines real quick. So, Shipashov, I might move him back out. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to mix up this uh, these power plays here. I might keep Pavs there since he's still got a decent shot. Um, yeah. Same with Zadina. Zadina on the point still. All right, now put in Venberg here, or I could put him on the. You know what? They were kind of doing good together. Maybe I should put him on the second line. Or no, let's try to get chemistry between these guys. Try to spread out Shipashov to some some other guy. I don't know. I don't know, but something's got to give here. But what I will do for the four man is do Wenberg, uh, Venberg and then Zadina or something like Or is he on the point? Yeah, he's on the point. So uh, Kane then. Yeah, let's do Kane. Get something going. Something's got to give here. So big ass trade. We're kind of going all in here. It's a bit crazy. Let's see who else can go with. Uh, do we already have Kane? Oh, Wenberg. We're going to have to put Wenberg somewhere in these extras, huh? Yeah, let's do Wenberg, then Shipashov and Zadina. Yeah. There we are. Do that. Shipashov, get in there. Ooh, we got some growth there. That's nice. I'll have to. I'll check progress. Well, no, I'll just submit to the deadline to check progress reports. So pretty freaking massive trade there, but it was needed. It was very well, uh, very much needed. All right, and go well, for the three though. I'm moving up Zadina. Yeah, I should do that for the four too. What am I thinking? Get Kane out of there. Kane doesn't deserve this. <laughs> Kane don't deserve that freaking top line time. He's not played that way. Zadina, well, I mean, Zadina don't have the points either, to be fair, but he, I feel like he could do better than Kane there. So we'll see. Bam. All right, shootout. All right, so we did lose pretty big shootout guy, but it don't matter. I don't really care. I think Venberg will probably be actually decent. Oh, yeah, 92 for Deking, actually. He could probably get up in the rot, up there a bit. Yep. Here we go. Put him in there. Alright, so a pretty big trade was just made. We're throwing Spezza back in the lineup as well. Just we need some guys to help us out here. We just need guys to help us out. Got in, we'll just chill scratch. I don't really care. Ugh. Rough stuff right now. Rough stuff, but we we we're trying to make the playoffs, but the thing about this trade is it also kind of helps us out for the few. He's still young. He was still only what 27. Lines him up with Mantha. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to set up to the deadline here. Hopefully, we can win a few more games. Consider maybe some more trades at the deadline, but we needed to shake things up there. I don't want this to be a complete freaking failure of a year. If we miss the playoffs still, so be it. But we need to freaking make an effort here to at least get back up there. I'm tired of tanking. I'm tired of being sellers, man. And we're still losing, so I don't think we're going to make the playoffs regardless. But <laughs> what can you do? I don't care. I I went a little freaking crazy right now. I'm a little pissed, as you can tell. But rightfully so, in my opinion. Rightfully so. We should be a lot better than we're playing. We should be a lot better than we're playing. So win these last games here. Give me some hope. Give me some hope. Give me in a wild card spot. Oh my god! Fuck, man! Ouellette, no, no, I'll make trades if I want. Okay, at least we won that game. 30, 28, and 6. Ugh. Teetering, we're still teetering, still 6th. But we're only 1 point out of a wild card spot. So that's why I wanted to make a, a mad dash for these playoffs, man. We're only 1 point out of a wild card spot. I mean, we're, it's very obtainable. Very obtainable. We just got to keep Yossi's leading our team in points. Holy crap, our defenseman. <laughs> All right, but hopefully that'll help us trend upwards here. All right, so goal scoring keeps going back up. Goals against, eh, sort of going back down, not quick enough. Power play struggling. Penalty kills struggling. Special teams now all of a sudden struggling. 5-5-0 five, five oh in the last 10. We just need to get back in these playoffs, man. Just need to get back up there. Uh, Yossi, yeah, these point totals are pathetic. Fucking pathetic, these point totals, man. So we're hoping Venberg will help us out, uh, but I don't know. Like, these guys, I need my first line to at least get to 60 points this year. <laughs> uh, Padawan might get it. Mantha, probably not. Venberg, probably not. But they just joined in. Zadina, ugh, not doing too well either. But what can you do? What can you do? 
All right. Um. Yeah, this is bad. It's just bad. But I think we got some growth here. Van Rand hasn't grown. He never really grows. Branstone, uh, Hartnell grew. Yeah, he's he's listed as top four now. So okay. Uh, Morasov still listed as top six. We can, we should make that switch right now. Move Hartnell up. Morasov down. So we could do that at least. So I'll do that before I forget. At least that guy's growing. I want to check out. I will check out all the growth. But let me just make that move because I see it, and I won't forget this way. Yeah, I got a little crazy in this episode, but I was pissed. Freaking pissed, man. It was crazy. I don't know why we're this bad. I understand our defensive core isn't that great, but this guy, he's, Theodore, is holding his own there. Look, he's a plus 10. That's not the issue. That isn't the issue. The scoring, something's the issue. I don't know what it is, but something's a freaking issue here. Like, how many games played this? Okay, 17. Every time I've looked, he's been in there. I was making sure he wasn't in. Yeah, Mrazek fell off, man, but whatever. He's basically spot filling for now, sort of. Okay, uh, Pavelski's starting to drop down, yeah, but whatever. He's still good defensively, so. We put Spezza back in there, trying to help something out. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're trying to everything and every anything and everything right now. Like, we look a lot better. Like, this does, this kind of looks, this looks like a playoff team to me. Look at freaking what Saskatoon's doing. Like, they're killing. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, we're still going to hope that these... This helps out. I don't know if it will, but it better. It should. It freaking should, man. Hmm. Whew. Well, we're at the deadline here, so what else? What else do we need to trade? I'm not too sure. I don't think... I th I think our defense, of course, is fine. Like, I, they're growing. Like, I don't want to mix that up. They're still growing. But, like, other stuff, I don't know. Let's check some progress reports. Padawan's still growing a bit, but Shipashov getting a shit ton of statistical growth and morale growth. Hartnell, yeah, you got a lot of growth there. Well, yeah, got some decent. His defense went up. That's good, man. He's becoming a full package. Yeah, his awareness. Yeah, he's becoming more of a two-way guy. Yeah, I like that. I don't mind it. Theodore, for some reason, statistical decline on when he's having a tremendous year. I don't get that. Uh, the Padawan statistical growth, some natural growth in there for face offs, mostly statistical growth. Okay. You'll see probably the same thing. Van Ran. He's got natural growth. That's good. Yeah, his offense awareness is out of this world. He's getting some. Alright, good. So he's at least growing. Not enough to propel him up, but whatever. Brandstrom growing as well. Good. Not too much, but enough. Uh Marasov, not not really growing. But that's alright. Like I said, I really only need this guy to get up to uh top four, to be honest. Yeah. All right. In the system. Let's check that growth. Zeus and holy crap. 67 overall now. What? Oh my God. This crazy growth from this guy. Incredible growth from this guy. <laughs> holy crap. So this is a silver lining. Still having crazy amounts of growth from everywhere. Awareness needs to get up more, but that's all right. Holy, oh my God. 13 points in a body checking. Jesus. <laughs> crazy growth from him. Shovel Dave grew a shit ton too. Yep. He grew a lot. Getting those out, getting that offense up there. There we are. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Thompson, he's in the juniors, but he's grown. Oh my goodness. 55 to 69 in the juniors. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Wow. That is insane growth. holy crap this is the most growth i've ever seen from someone i think look at that look at that <laughs> oh my gosh that's just insane that's ridiculous growth 55 to 69 like he still got more room to grow turk oh my god oh my oh my god <laughs> turk off too holy crap what a signing. What signing. So our future's still bright. This rebuild's taking a bit longer than I want it to. Maybe I'm trying to hold myself to too high of standards, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ridiculous growth. Plain ridiculous. Look at his defense already. Holy. That's amazing. Great skater too. 
Not too physical, but that's alright. I don't need, really need him to be. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's grown up. Uh, brunette's not as much growth. But he's still growing. There we are. Uh, Neil Kynan, growing good. 62 now. Not as much at the same time, but still growing. I don't care. Freezing. Uh, he's playing in the juniors. Hasn't got too, too much growth, but he's still only 18. He's got plenty of time. Melosha's got some. Yeah, that's good. But yeah. Freezing. Yeah, a bit more ones and twos everywhere. Some fours. Melosh. Yeah, pretty low, but whatever. I think he's uh, he's playing junior, so it's all right. Uh, Parsons. This guy's grown. Yeah, this guy was uh, one of the guys. That, yeah, that's good that he's grown. Whitney. Okay, good. I put Whitney in and he started to grow. Not much, but he's growing still. But yeah, I'm liking Parsons. 70 now at 22. He's definitely going to crack the NHL, I think. He, he keeps on this base. He's cracking that NHL. Uh, this McKinnon guy. He's grown a bit. Not as much, but he's grown. McLeod's grown slightly. A lot of different stats, but low numbers by the looks of it. Yep. Same with Suzuki. He's still growing. So I don't know if these guys... These guys might become trading assets at some point. I don't know, because we're kind of... Some things are falling into place now in our uh, NHL. Well, we went, we will need a center. You know, we will need a center. Could I, at this point, it's a little more looking like this guy's gonna hop up there to be that center, but we'll we'll see. All right, goaltender wise, a bunch of these guys are growing. Uh, Kondratiev has grown slightly, not much, and Gravel's grown though, so that's good. All right, so the silver lining is we have a shit ton of growth. But the bad news is our NHL team is struggling still. They've got I, the changes that we just made. We seem to be trending upwards, but we still got a lot of ground to make up to make it back into these playoffs. If I don't know about any other trades we can make, um, you guys can let me know. But when we're looking at things here, our first line is really good now. Shipashov keeps, he, I think I got to keep him. He's just too good offensively. He's just way too good offensively, and he jumped back up this year. But, yeah. Um, in the depth, Pavelski might keep, uh, you know, dropping down, but that's all right because then we got Ikan who can come up there, and we'll still have a fourth line if we need. But, yeah. We put Spezza back in there just because our team seemed to just slightly do better with him. I don't know. So, putting him back in there, who knows. But maybe at this point I can have I can bring up uh, Bitten because he was listed as depth. Maybe we want to bring Bitten up to play up there, and then we can move up House. We could shift some guys up and up and stuff like that. Ugh, Hendrickson's not really growing. He's got tremendous points, but he's not really growing. Or yeah, did I say Hendrickson? Jacobson. There we go. Turkov's got insane growth. <laughs> All right. Um. G stops starting to fall off again. He hasn't really grown too much this year. Maybe because we got too many elites and they started stealing the growth from him or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's still a thing. Feels like it can be. Anyway, Shovel Dave's got a lot of growth. I'll have to keep him here though, because he is he, he was growing very well though, so I might as well keep him there. But yeah, bitten we could call a bitten. We shift some guys up. Yeah, I'll probably actually put McLeod up here, and then we can move Shovel Dave up and stick someone else in. That's what I'm thinking. We could call up Bitten, play him instead of Spezza. You guys can let me know about that. That's a big that's a big decision. Um, other than that, trade-wise, we made a pretty massive trade. I don't really know what else we could do. Maybe we get a rental for here. But like I said, Theodore's done really good. Really good. I don't know why he's not happy, but he's just not doing too good. But if we did make a trade like that for someone... I think Theodore would have to go out because we got him on a pretty stringent contracts like what like yeah three years at almost five mil so he would have to probably well yeah his list is top four he wouldn't be happy in the top six you know so he would most likely have to be moved out if we were to get some kind of a rental here for the defensive core i'm not opposed to that idea i'm really not opposed to that idea i was trying to get you know van Rand to jump back to jump up there but i don't know if that's going to happen at this point so Maybe we need something like that. Some kind of a rental. I'm not too sure. But, uh... 
Yeah, you guys can let me know about all that. We're trying to get our way back up there. I didn't want to miss the playoffs. It may still end up happening, but I just I just didn't want to tank. And it, at times, it looked like we were going to start tanking again, which is crazy. It was just crazy. Why would this team tank? Like, especially with the signings we made and everything like that. I don't know. Like, when you look at us, we are not a bad team whatsoever. We're just not playing well right now. So, we made a lot of moves, moved out some guys. Tuck got moved out. It sucks, but you know what? We got to give something up to get something. We got a guy like Venberg because... He would do a lot better on that first line, obviously. So, got him in there. Hopefully, everything kind of starts to go better now. Kane's on his last year. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, you guys can let me know about any uh, roster moves, trades, anything like that. But we're trying our darndest to make it back into the playoffs. Don't know if it'll happen, though. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.